Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2022 American superhero film titled Black Adam. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. We are introduced to a story at the beginning of the movie. A few thousand years ago, on Earth, there was a city called Kondak, and they were the first free people. Kondak served as the epicenter of knowledge and power for a very long time. But then a king named Ok Tun used his abilities to capture Kondak and rose to become the ruler there. But he had some really bad intentions, and his interest in black magic was strong. He desired to create Sabak's crown. If the six magicians' abilities were contained in that crown. Consequently, its owner might become eternal. However, it required Eternium to create that crown. It was a unique mineral that was found only in Kondak. As a result, he enslaved the people to mine Eternium. But the people became very angry and demanded freedom from him. However, they needed a hero who could spur everyone on to defend their freedom. They also received a hero in the form of a young child who had the guts to speak out against the king. The king realizes that if he ignores this protest, he could be in serious trouble. As a result, he publicly sentenced that child to death. But just before the soldiers were about to kill him, a magical event occurs, and he disappears from that place. The Council of Wizards destined to protect the Earth bestowed upon him the abilities of the ancient gods and turns that ordinary child into a hero when the child utters the word Shazam. However, the Sabak crown had already been created. The hero goes to challenge the king. But King Ok Tun uses the black magic power of the crown. Eventually, the palace gets totally destroyed as a result of the battle. However, the hero triumphs, and the magical wizards keep the crown hidden so that nobody could ever find it. No one heard of that hero again after that day. Inter Gang, a global terrorist organization, currently controls Kondak. And even now, people still say that when Kondak is in danger the hero would then come back and set the Kondak people free. Later we then get to see some people who were searching for an artifact. Along with them, a girl by the name of Adriana was also there. They were all moving covertly away from the guards. In reality, they were looking for the crown of Sabak. They held the opinion that the palace's basement still contained the crown. Then Amon, Adriana's son, arrives there and he also desired to accompany his mother. But Adriana manages to persuade him to return home. They travel through the mountains for a while before arriving at the palace where King Octun lived. Adriana moves inside the cave with her two friends. Amr, her brother, continues to stay in the van. They discover some antique sculptures once everyone enters the palace. Then they move even further. After some time, the inter gang members eventually corner Amr. Meanwhile Adriana comes close to the grave of the hero, who possessed magical abilities. She was unable to comprehend why he was buried there. There was a spell that was written on that grave and it was forbidden to read as that hero would come back to life if they read it. They even moved forward searching for the crown. Adriana finally notices the crown and immediately snatches it. Until that point, however, members of the inter gang had entered the cave. They start firing on her. Adriana finds a way to escape and conceals herself. She had to come out when they threatened to kill her brother. The crown was then taken away from her. Adriana then starts reading the spell that was written on the grave, and utters the word Shazam. Consequently, lightning begins to strike and Black Adam gets resurrected. However, when a soldier approaches Black Adam, he gets burned in his hands. When they realize his abilities, they all began firing indiscriminately at him. But those bullets could do nothing to him, eventually, he kills everyone present there with his powers. Adriana and her brother were able to leave that location in some way. However, a large number of inter gang soldiers arrive on the scene. For Black Adam, they were insufficient. And eventually everyone gets killed. Amr and Adriana attempt to flee that area in their van as the crown was still with them. But Black Adam comes in front of them. Somehow, they avoid looking at him. As Black Adam was glaring at them, suddenly a guard launches a missile at him. However, he catches that missile with his hands. But when it explodes, he gets hurt and falls on the ground. Adriana's friend, Ishmael, who was also competing for the crown with Adriana, is revealed to us that he is the inter gang's leader. He was determined to get that crown at all costs. Later the scene shifts to Justice Society whose task is to protect Earth. Hawkman witnesses the devastation in Kondak and he was told to control Black Adam right away by their chief Amanda Whaler, as he might be a great threat to planet. Later, Hawkman gathers his companions namely Cyclone who had wind controlling abilities. Adam Smasher, who had the ability to alter his size at his will, and Dr. Fate, 
their leader and most seasoned member, who even had the ability to predict the future. He had a helmet that gave him these abilities. After some time we see Black Adam who awakens at Adriana's home. Her son Amon was overjoyed to see him, and compliments him on his fame spread throughout Kondak. He also learns that he has been imprisoned in that grave for over 5,000 years. Adriana tries to find out more information about the crown. There, Black Adam was informed by Amon that he was their only hope who could potentially help them free from Inter Gang. But Black Adam ignores him and goes near Adriana, tearing down the walls. Adriana continues by saying that he should help the people because they need him, but Black Adam walks away. Amon follows him and tries to convince him. He went on to say that everyone he knew had died, and what would he do now that he was alone? However, Black Adam disregarded him before departing. The Justice Society members were preparing to control Black Adam. Dr. Fate tells them that if they managed to say the word Shazam from him, then, all of his powers would be lost. After that, they have no trouble controlling him. In the next scene we see guards trying to arrest Amon and his mother, as they were following Adriana for a long time. Black Adam intercepts the guards and saves them by attacking the guards. And within minutes, he kills everyone. However, the Justice Society's members soon arrive there. Dr. Fate and Hawkman initially go after Black Adam to fight. They try to control him by using their powers. But in comparison to Black Adam, their strength was paltry. Further, Cyclone attacks him but her assault looks ineffective. Adam Smasher then punches him, however, Black Adam emerges from the attack and uses his punch to knock him out. Everyone hails Black Adam as a hero, and they begin to applaud him. Later Black Adam leaves from there. Adriana goes to see Dr. Fate and questions why they were trying to capture him as he is Kondak's hero and the only person who could set them free from Inter Gang. Then Hawkman claims that Black Adam posed a danger to Earth and he further adds that he had never fought against the King on behalf of the Kondak people. But he only went there to take his revenge. Furthermore, the King was unable to wear his crown and everything was destroyed solely as a result of his rage. The magical wizards then imprisoned him in a grave as punishment. After hearing their words, Adriana agrees to speak with Black Adam and takes them to meet him. She then tells Black Adam that he might not be a hero. But that doesn't mean he was never capable of being a hero. He could also become a hero by aiding the Kondak people. Amon returns home with the crown to safeguard it. But he is caught by the Inter Gang's boss, Ishmael, who demands the crown while pointing the gun at him. However, Amr holds him and instructs Amon to flee. Ishmael orders his soldiers to seize Amon after shooting Amr. Amon, on the other hand, hides in his house before calling his mother and telling her that he is being followed by the Inter Gang. Adriana informs Black Adam that her son regards him as a hero and requests his assistance to save him. Black Adam immediately departs and stops a soldier who is about to abduct Amon. Then he goes to kill the leader of the Inter Gang. However, Ishmael comes there and abducts Amon using his hover bike. Meanwhile, Black Adam was also pursuing him. But many soldiers arrive there on several hover bikes, and as a result, he gets perplexed. Then they all succeed in capturing Amon. The captured guards inform Black Adam that they led Amon to their base, which is located in the desert. They all go to free Amon. And very soon, they all reach the base. Then Ishmael insists on trading Amon for the crown. Adriana then immediately pulls out the crown and hands it to him. Then he says that he is the offspring of the king, Akhtan, who passed away centuries ago, and he wants that crown to fulfill his dreams. He then makes Black Adam remember, how he was his slave and how his son and wife were murdered. After hearing his words, Black Adam becomes enraged. And as soon as Ishmael possesses the crown, he shoots Amon. But Black Adam saves Amon by arriving with incredible speed. However, his anger causes him to lose control, and that area gets destroyed. Somehow, the Justice Society members were able to save everyone. Now Ishmael is dead, and the crown was also next to his body. This makes Black Adam depressed, and he also realizes how dangerous his abilities are. Then Hawkman approaches him, declaring that no one can stop him and that he alone is the only one who can stop himself. Black Adam claims that his son, not he, was the true hero who inspired the Kondak people to seek freedom. When his son received the magical power of wizards, the king attacked him and killed his wife to keep them under control. Later, his son gave him the magical powers to save him. But the soldiers killed his son as well. Then, in a fit of rage, he destroyed everything. Now he no longer desires to use his powers to harm others. 
That's why he says Shazam and loses his powers to surrender himself to them. In order to prevent him from changing back into Black Adam again, they all imprison him in an underwater jail. After that, we learn that Dr. Fate has a vision in which he sees that Hawkman will die fighting someone. Then he realizes that this is not yet over. Meanwhile, we get to see Ishmael receiving the powers of the crown, who later transforms into the demon Sabak. And he keeps moving toward their ship, and then, with just one strike, he destroys their ship. They attempt to halt him, but he has a lot of strength. No one could control him any longer. Dr. Fate informs everyone that they need to stop him before he sits on the throne. Otherwise, killing him would be almost impossible. But he overcomes everyone and ascends to the throne. In addition, Hawkman's teammates attempt to enter. Then a phantom wall appears in front of them. Dr. Fate goes alone into the wall. Then he claims that he has seen the future, where Hawkman would die fighting Sabak. He can, however, alter the future and decides to fight Sabak alone. He then tries to contact Black Adam through telepathy while fighting and requests his aid in overcoming Sabak. He then says that he would be a hero after defeating him. Then Black Adam gets back to his senses, after which he utters the word Shazam to regain his powers. Meanwhile, Sabak kills Dr. Fate. And the invisible wall comes down. Then Hawkman and his companions engage in combat with Sabak. But they were unable to match him, finally Sabak sits on the throne. A brilliant light emerges after he ascends the throne. His demonic army then comes back to life and starts attacking everyone. But the people fight with them and try to save themselves. Meanwhile Black Adam comes there and subsequently attacks Sabak. Later, he tore apart his body while holding him in the sky. All of his demonic armies vanish after his death. In the form of Black Adam, the Kondaki people receive their hero. Adriana requests that he sit on the throne and be king. But Black Adam destroys the throne. And after that, he declares that he wants to be a protector rather than the king. Finally, the Justice Society's leader contacts Black Adam and warns him that he should not leave Kondak, otherwise he will be punished. But Black Adam replies by saying there is no one on earth who could stop me. Then we get to see Superman. Who says he destroyed a lot of things and just wants to talk about them. This marks the end of the movie. Thanks for watching.